Hello everybody, welcome back to CJ Explores. This time we're in Cairns. We stayed here for a few days, a little bit of R&R &R because I really badly sprained my ankle. So we needed some rest days, but now we're ready to adventure again. And this time we're doing a road trip Cairns to Cape Tribulation. First stop is Palm Cove. And this place is only half an hour away from Cairns on the Captain Cook Highway. It is a holiday destination and it is so beautiful. So you can see why this place is called Palm Cove. It is so beautiful here. Right on the beachfront you have this whole row and avenue of palm trees as well as all the restaurants and holiday rentals and accommodation right here. It's so beautiful. It seems like just the nicest holiday destination. A bit windy today though, but still lovely and warm and I don't really want to leave, but we're going to go and carry on our road trip. Okay, so we have come to Rick's Lookout, which is on the Captain Cook Highway, and we can see back to the road, which we've just driven up. Um, pretty much mountain meets the ocean. And at Rick's Lookout, there is some hang gliders here, so it's a little bit tense. It looks exciting, but they just weren't taking off. So we're on our way to Port Douglas, but we just pulled into Farla Nature Reserve. And there's actually a resort further down this road. But this first bit here is it's private property, but they allow public access to take photos. And it's kind of become Instagram famous because these palm trees look so nice all lined up and especially with a drone shot. We have checked into our caravan park for the night. We're at Tropic Breeze Caravan Park and it's $42 for an unplowed site. It's pretty expensive, but we're in Port Douglas. Not many options. We can't free count when we've got a blow up tent on the top of our car. We can't get away with it like the van lifers. But we are within walking distance of Four Mile Beach, so we're going to quickly put the tent up and then go for a little walk onto the beach and hopefully catch the sunset. It's sunset time. We decided we want to go and try and catch it. Uh, I have seen some nice drone photos from the beach, but the tide's in, it's a bit windy, not working. But someone just told us about this park and they've said that everyone goes there to watch the sunset. So we're going to try and make it on time and see if we can find a nice sunset spot in Port Douglas. This is a spot to be in Port Douglas. Uh, yeah, pretty impressed. This looks really nice. It's a shame that they've got those clouds there on the horizon. Well, behind the mountains, but it seems that like all the locals are here, travellers are here. I like it. Good morning! Day two on our little trip and we have woke up in this beautiful location in Port Douglas. We just drove slightly away from the campsite and parked up. A two minute walk and we come to this little stop here and it's a beautiful lookout out to the coast. Now you are able to walk all the way around Flagstaff Hill from the Four Mile Beach all the way around to Rick's Mount Park where we had sunset last night. Um, but we have just decided to drive to a closest point because Charlotte's gammy leg. <laughs> but we're here now and we are going to go down into town and grab a coffee because there's so many cool little places to check out. This spot is just slightly further up the road and it's called Trinity Bay Lookout and it looks out to this beautiful view. Uh, it looks like we're in Hawaii or somewhere, this kind of landscape. I really love it. Okay, we are down at Four Mile Beach now and it is safe to swim here. There are crocs and stingers in stinger season but there are lifeguards here so you can swim pretty safe. 
They will patrol the beach up and down with drones to make sure that there is no crocs in the water. If there are, they'll get you out. And from November through to January or February, there is stinger nets out to protect you from the stingers too. Uh, seems like a lot of locals are out here running up and down the beach, also cycling. This sand is very firm. I can definitely see why it's a popular exercise spot. Everyone's on their bicycles. You can rent them in town actually. I saw them available for rent. Um, just cycling all along the beach. That's really nice. I like the idea. I need my ankle to get better. But it is such a nice place. You have these palm trees behind us. You've got the mountains in the distance and the golden sand just stretches all the way up there. Uh, and then we have the lookout. Flagstaff Hill is just to our left. We are now in Mossman Gorge and it's changed a little bit from when we were here last time, uh, nearly a decade ago. There's now a shuttle bus which runs from the visitor centre, there's a cafe and toilets and everything up there. So you have to pay to get the shuttle bus up to the car park where the walk starts. Um, $12.30 for an adult, I think it's like 6 bucks for a kid. The drive up to the entrance to Mossman Gorge is actually quite a narrow road so I guess if there's too many cars driving up and down it there will be a lot of blockages and especially with the tour buses um, so what they've done is they've just limited the amount of traffic that comes up here um, they control it all by radios and it's a nice little drive up now we are walking across a elevated platform it's very cool um, and we can see some clear clear water below Really nice. It's quite gushy up there. Fast <laughs> flowing. Fast flowing. But here it's really nice and calm. Seems to be like the main spot. Oh, there's a big fish. Okay, <laughs> change the fish. Okay, swim in the Mossman River, in the Mossman Gorge, tick. We are on the Rex Creek suspension bridge, pretty cool. That water's pretty loud, we've had a lot of rain in the region recently. But yeah, this is fun. <laughs> We are now walking on the circuit track. It's 2.4k I believe and it loops back around to the car park so that section where we were at before where the water hole is you can just walk directly back to the car park. I think the sign just says 700 meters but we thought um, yeah we'll do the little walk around it's not too long and it just seems to go through the bush so. Rainforest. The rainforest. Pretty nice and shaded. Not sure if we'll see any more water but we'll find out. Yeah. Big rock. It feels like a long walk. There's not, not actually a heck of a lot to see. You're just walking through this rainforest, but it just feels so ancient. Like all the tree roots, like all exposed, and a couple of bits where you can see some like big boulders and stuff that just look like they've been there for thousands of years. Um, we should be coming back around to the original path soon. It feels like we've been on it for a while. the main centre. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, you do have to pay now. It kind of been cool if they did like a little tour or something included in that, but to be honest, the boardwalk's really cool. Um, it, hopefully that money goes towards keeping this area beautiful and safe, so the area's pretty amazing. I love the uh, clear water. Avocado, my mic crackers. We're hungry and we want a little snack before we make our way to Cape Tribulation. We're thinking we might go 
straight up to Cape Trip campsite and then tomorrow we might go and see Daintree Beach, we're not sure. Okay, so we have arrived at the river crossing for Daintree River and we are just waiting in the queue for the barge so we can go over. Um, there may be crocodiles in this river, so we will keep our eyes peeled. If we see some, we'll snap them for you. Can't find any crocs. No crockies? No. Yep, yep, yep. We have just checked in at Cape Tribulation Camping. So far so good, we've got all the amenities, fridge, freezer, gas cooker, microwave, toaster, kettle, toilet. Let's go and have a look at the beach because that's what we're here for. There's lots of swings in the trees. swings and stuff in the trees I think we should come here for sunrise shall we let's do it yeah sunrise mission sunrise mission in the morning here on the beach Good morning everyone, so like we said yesterday, sunrise, I'm up for it. Um, Charlotte has not had a great sleep though, so she is back in tent, uh, trying to catch up on some sleep. Um, not much of a sunrise, it's pretty cloudy. We have a, a faint glow on the horizon. Um, but today we are going to explore some of the Daintree rainforest and do some of the boardwalks. And fingers crossed we run into a cassowary. <laughs> as far as we can go in our little Corolla at the edge of this uh, creek and upwards is all four-wheel drive only so we're gonna stop here we're at this beautiful little spot actually and there's crocodiles here oh, there's crocodiles everywhere but it's exciting when we see the signs we can't see any uh, we're just on a little venture today's weather's not too great though so we can't go to the beach good walking so day. yeah it's a good walking weather and we're just having a little wonder Okay, so this is the swimming hole at the creek, which is at the northernmost part that you can access with a two-wheel drive. Um, pretty cool little place, and it seems really clear water, and there is a rope swing in the tree. Uh, we didn't bring our swimmers, and it is a bit chilly, so we're probably going to head back and find something else to explore. Okay, we found the trail now. A uh, short walk to a lookout. How was that lookout? Well, we've got a bit of an overcast day, so it's probably a bit, uh, probably looks better. But we did see some people, I think they were snorkeling, but probably can't really see much today. But we are just gonna go and pop onto the beach. So the Daintree National Park is famous for many reasons, mainly because it's the oldest rainforest in the world, which is pretty cool by itself, but it's also a place where the rainforest meets the reef. Oh my god. Are we out the way for cats? We have just seen a cassowary. There is a cassowary, it is right next to us. That 
is so exciting. Um, we've just been driving along and like scanning the trees as we're going, trying to find a cassowary. Um, and I just saw one next to the side of the road, so I stopped. And it wasn't really bothered that we were here. It just kind of um, just stood and looked at us. And then it just carried on doing what it was doing, just looking for food. What an awesome way to end our little trip up to the Daintree National Park. Thank you.